politicians in Washington that are playing games with our kids' futures and with our money. Now let me tell you what I stand for. I believe America is an exceptional nation, a beacon of hope and freedom for the rest of the world. I believe the men and women who have served or are serving in our forces have preserved freedom for the rest of us, and we must always ensure that they and their families are cared for. We will always be indebted to our military men and women for their devo devotion and sacrifice to have our nation. I believe that the American dream is available to every person that wants to work for it. I believe that only in America can a boy born to a modest family in the Texas Panhandle begin working with his father at the age of nine, put himself through Texas a and University, and through an excellent public education and hard work, be allowed to run a successful company. Fundamentally, I believe in limited government protecting our social values and adhering to this Constitution. And to follow up what you had said, I believe that we are a nation founded on Christian principles and that we should not shy away from our fundamental beliefs of God. I believe in peace and strength and that our nation has an unmatched history of spreading freedom and democracy around the world. I believe energy security is imperative, both for economic growth and for national security. I believe that we can achieve energy security through an all-of-the-above approach and create good American jobs in the process. I believe that individuals spend their money more wisely than the government. I believe that the best social program ever created by man was a private sector job. Right. They provide families with housing, food, education. They grow the local tax base. They in reliance on government assistance, and they contribute to growing our nation's economic opportunities. I believe low taxes and fair regulation of employers are the best way to grow these private sector jobs. I believe record deficits and overwhelming national debt are a significant threat to our economy and to the future of our children and grandchildren. I believe that Congress should pass a budget every year, just like families and businesses do. <laughs> if Congress is unwilling or unable to pass a budget, they should take a pay cut, just like we have to do in the real world. I believe in term limits. I believe in term limits because we've got to return to the Founding Fathers' notion of citizen legislators that serve their constituents for a short time and then come home and live under the laws that they wrote. I also believe that our legislators should be servant leaders. They work for us. I believe that every life begins in conception. And that every life has a soul. And that every life needs to be protected under the law. I believe that marriage is between one man and one woman, and that needs to be protected. And returning to the Constitution, I believe that the Second Amendment is a fundamental right to guarantee our fairness. I want to let you know that Bill Morris is a Christian, an American, a conservative Texan, and a Republican. That's what I believe. Looking forward to the next 100 days, it is clear that we cannot afford Pelosi's lapdog, Chad Edwards, anymore. We must put a check on the Obama administration. We must end the Pelosi Congress. And we can't do that without beating career politician Edwards in November. By every measure, we have the momentum and we are winning this campaign. Even though Chad doesn't like to admit that, he won't release his public. We are winning this campaign. With your help, we'll be in Governor Edwards in November. Tonight, I only ask for your help in this effort. I need your help. Go to our website and see what we're all about. We have a table in the back where you can pick up materials and sign up to volunteer. We need you to make phone calls. We need you to block wall. We need you to display a sign or a bumper sticker. We need you to talk to your neighbors. 
And we need you to contribute financially. And most importantly, we need your prayers. Tonight is the beginning of the sprint to election day. The very fate of our country hangs in the balance. Working together, we can be the generation that restores America's promise and prosperity and security and protect this Constitution for our kids and our grandkids. Time to act as now. Join me in retiring Chet Edwards in November.